So in this video we're going to do a quick update on the Dirtworks bumper. Mine lasted a few months before it seized up. I had to use my F-150 to pull it open so I could even get my hatch open. Then I had to cut it off. I'll show you guys some still pics. I've been really busy with a new job and haven't had time to sit down and make any videos. So here's some quick um, pics of what happened. I sent it to Winding Road Fabrication. Gabriel Miller, he's badass here in Colorado Springs. Had him fix it. I'll show you what he did. And um, it's just a quick video just because I haven't been able to do this for a while. So I hope you guys enjoy. This is a factory Dirtworks spindle. Single half inch hold there. Not even fully welded up top. Only about half is weld around it. And they used a uh, bushing instead of bearing. Looks like there might have been about an inch weld here. The trail forged spindle that Gabe used goes all the way through the new bumper, welds all the way down the inside of it. Alright, you can see where Gabe put in a new stop. New 2x4. Look at those welds. We use the same old latch for now. We might have changed the latch up. But we welded it here, all the way across. He ended up having to cut the bumper here because of how the fact or how Dirtworks welded the spindle in there. You guys can see how clean the welds are even in there. Made a new stop for the swing out and then packed that full of grease. You can you can almost tell where the welding was done. Once again, sorry guys that I haven't been able to make any videos, but um, thanks for checking this one out. I've got some stuff coming up on the Mazda 2. The Mazda now, um, parts have come in and we're going to tr troubleshoot the electrical. So I look forward to that video. Thanks for watching y'all. God bless.